Hello, uh, very good evening to all of you. Today we are going to discuss the case note of Mrs. Tony Dale, a 72 year old woman who is under our care for ortho, uh, in the orthopedic ward. She is uh, discharged from the hospital to the re to a rehabilitation <clears throat> center for the next five days. So that's what we have the basic information here. The patient's name is Mrs. Tony Ritzdale, who is a divorcee and she has three children. One daughter is unmarried and this lady is about to care her mother after the discharge once <clears throat> she is coming to her home after discharge <clears throat> this lady her name is miss casey will uh, be staying with uh, uh, miss mrs ritzdale uh, after her discharge from the rehabilitation center so she has uh, medication she's taking so mac 4 mg daily and on the, pertaining to her admission to the hospital where i am working she got admitted to my care on 15th of may 2018 after being tipped off from uh, uh for tipped off uh, or tipped over the garden hose and made the injury and she got a, a fractured leg, a left neck of femur, <coughs> which for which she was advised to, to undergo a, a corrective surgery. And that was left total hip replacement. And it was done on the very next day after that mission. And after the surgery, you know, that uh, staples were there in place and the closed drain was there and she was transferred to the ICU. <clears throat> um, after observation, she was then transferred to ward and we observed that she was anemic and for that she was uh, transfused with uh, three units packed red blood cells. Now, after that, we have uh, given her anticoagulants, IV antibiotics, and uh, pain medications, Lyrica. So these are the conservative treatment uh, which we have given at our care. And for the pain management, in addition to Lyrica, because we have uh, given her uh, Endone, uh, Tremadol, Panadol. So uh, all these were pain medications we uh, we we, we, give, we gave her. And uh, on the subsequent days, we have got uh, we have given her wound care dressing, and the drain was removed, and she started sitting out of the bed for short periods. And um, you can see her HB level has improved to 101 from 82, which was previously recorded. And then we can say her post-operative period is, in, is was good, uneventful. She started mobilizing. <clears throat> and uh, you, you can say that um, uh, she she started mobilizing short distance with assistance and later independently her staples alternative staples were removed and she provided her anti-embolic stockings to for the next 14 days then uh, we have decided on day seven we have decided to discharge her to the rehabilitation center for five days and after that she if uh, after the assessment, after the rehabilitation assessment, she is expected to move to her own home to stay with her daughter, uh, Miss Casey. So this is what the whole story is. You have, you have to write a letter to this uh, nursing unit manager, asking him or her to um, 
to um, align with the discharge plan, what we have here. So that is the, the case now. Let us go with today's date, that is 22nd May. So how we have calculated is that the date of admission is 15 and that we have calculated uh, 15. This uh, is 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22. So that's the thing. So 15 is the date she was admitted. Day one is the day, one is the day which she underwent the surgery. That is on 16th. Day two is 17. Day three is 18. Day four is 19. Day five is 20 day six is 21 and day seven is 22 and that's why we calculated 22nd may 2018 the nursing unit manager griffith uh, rehabilitation center dear sir or madam reference miss tony redsdale age at 72 so if you have a date of birth i can go with the date of birth if you have a date of birth i don't have a date of birth here <coughs> Sorry. And I have the purpose of the letter here. I'm writing to request temporary rehabilitation care and service for Mrs. Tony Ritzdale. She is recuperating after a left total hip replacement surgery and is transferred to your facility today. So this is to request this letter has been written to request temporary rehabilitation care so i want temporary rehabilitation service from your care for mrs tony ritzdale okay this is the request i have made she is recuperating after a left total hip replacement surgery and is transferred to your facility today that's on day seven of the surgery. Mrs. Ritzdale was admitted to our care following a fall on 15 May 2018, which resulted in a fractured le left neck of femur. So she was admitted to our care on 15th of May 2018. And what was what happened to her? She fell off and she came. And this, the ultimate result of this fall was a fractured left neck of femur. And hence there, she underwent the aforementioned procedure that is the total hip replacement surgery. So post-operatively, her hemoglobin level fell to 82, for which she three units packed red blood cells were transfused. So we have made everything brief. The history, we have a long history there. We have <clears throat> a lot many things there, but we made it uh, brief. We have not written how she fell, where she fell, and what uh, diagnostic procedure we have done. We have not given all these things. And what about the thing? So we, we just have said uh, this, the, the incident happened on 15. That's why she came. And uh, it's, the ultimate result was the fracture. And for this fracture, a surgery was performed. After the surgery, her hemoglobin, she fell anemic and she was given three. She was transfused with the three packed red blood cells. So this is what we have seen in the first particular paragraph. During the stay, during the hospital stay, Mrs. Ritzdale was provided with antibiotic and analgesic therapy in addition to regular wound care. So we have antibiotic and analgesic therapy we have given her. And this was provided to her in addition to regular wound care. So antibiotics was IV cephalosporin or something like that. Analgesics, she had a lot of analgesics, tramadol, um, some other things were there, two, three analgesics were there in addition to Panadol, uh, something else. So we are not going to mention all these things. These were all given and the course was completed. 
and some of the medications will be going on uh, when she is moving to the rehabilitation center. But we can make sure the antibiotic therapy is over and some of the medication scores are over. <coughs> now, so she was on antibiotic and analgesic therapy. She was provided with uh, antibiotic and analgesic therapy in addition to the wound care. Subsequent days, on the subsequent days, alternate staples and drains were removed and she started mobilizing. So drains were there intact, staples were there intact, so she couldn't model, mobilize properly. Once these were removed, she started mobilizing short distances. Okay, and... Uh, Independent. In order to provide, prevent emboli, stockings were worn, which is advised to be continued for 14 days, that is two weeks. So this is what we have seen in the second particular paragraph. The third particular paragraph is about the social history. She is alone. She has three children, but she is alone. She's a divorcee and she lives alone. Um, her unmarried daughter, Mrs. Case, Miss Casey, is supporting and will assist her after the discharge. So this is about her social history. After the discharge, she, she will be taking care. This this daughter will be taking care of uh, Mrs. Uh, Ritzdale. Now, upon discharge, kindly admit Mrs. Discharge to your care for the next five days. So how long we have to admit her for five days? <clears throat> and monitor her medication complaints, including her regular medication, so MAC, 4DMG, so we have written that too. Okay, now of note, her remaining staples and dressing have to be removed on 25th of this month, uh, and on the same day, she has a repeat hemoglobin level check. So this is what we have given instruction <clears throat> to the people, uh, to, to the rehabilitation center. So staples have to be, they have to be removed on 25, dressing has to be removed on 25, and she, she has a hemoglobin repeat on the same day, that is on the 10th day of the surgery. Okay, and if you have, to, if you if you find a, a, any uh, need of the physiorises, you need to inform. You need to consider the service of a home physio. Now, please do not hesitate to con <clears throat> contact me if you have any queries regarding Mrs. If you have any further queries, further queries regarding Mrs. Restale, okay. <clears throat> and that's what we have uh, written. We have not written the uh, the or oh, visit of occupational therapist because um, uh, we have nothing to do with this temporary care. So occupational therapist is visiting her uh, to um, accommodate her at her home after uh, releasing from the rehabilitation center. So she is going <clears throat> to the rehabilitation center for just five days. After that, the, the relevance of occupational therapist is needed. So occupational therapist is needed to adopt her uh, with the conditions at her own home because she is uh, living alone. So she needs assistance of an occupational therapist to carry out her uh, <clears throat> personal duties independently or activities of daily living independently. So that is the need of uh, an occupational therapist. And to a temporary care for five days, we are not going to write about the occupational therapist. And that's why we have excluded the matter there. Okay, thank you. And that is the end of the explanation. Have a nice day.